After over a decade of associating Iraq with violence and death, it was a welcome change to see Iraqis celebrating their country and their chance to vote in a democratic election. And you know, they did so under some pretty trying circumstances as well. You just think about this, the governorate of Baghdad, which is Iraq's uh, smallest province, but of course it's most populous. And down there in the city of Baghdad, a 200 square kilometer where many parts of it was just foot traffic. Only authorized cars were allowed on the roads, no taxis and no private cars. Then out to the west at Baghdad International Airport, well that was shut down. All commercial flights were suspended until after the election. So when we talk about security precautions, these were some pretty major steps taken. But when people got to the polling stations, this became the inevitable image. The sight of people holding their fingers in the air, their purple fingers. The finger dipped in purple ink to say, yes, I have voted. And perhaps more importantly, when we're talking about an accurate election, no, I actually can't vote again. And, you know, people love posting those sorts of pictures on social media as well. This was the type of thing we were seeing all day. And not just people who actually voted, but their children as well who wanted to get involved. Of course, they couldn't vote, but at least they could feel like they were part of an electoral process. Others, well, I was going to say wore their hearts on their sleeve, but this is a shirt there with an Iraqi flag and a heart shape around it. And then this last picture, which, well, I really liked this one, actually. The sight of an Iraqi Special Forces member helping a woman in her wheelchair in Baghdad, Sadr City to get to the polling station. And the important thing to remember with an image like that is all this security was Iraqi. Elections were held without US forces on the ground for the first time since Saddam's fall. And you know, it's perhaps a reflection of how much has changed in that time that this election barely made headlines in the United States.